So what did you do? I tried to walk away, but he wouldn't stop pushing me. So I pushed him so hard he fell down. And that's why you were punished. Did you expect something different? But even Torah says eye for eye. Why should I be punished too? Yes, but that is for a judge. You were hardly in a court of law. And you, all of you, are to be special. You are to act differently than others. You tell us to be gentle, but Rabbi Josiah said Messiah would lead us against the Romans, that he would be a great military leader. It is important to respect your teachers and honor your parents. And Rabbi Josiah is a smart man. But many times, smart men lack wisdom. Is there anything in scripture that says Messiah will be a great military leader? There are many things about scripture that you cannot understand yet, and that is okay, that is fine. You have many years ahead of you, and God does not reveal all things at once. But children, what if many of the things that our people think about how we are to behave and how we are to treat one another are wrong? You want things to be fair. When someone wrongs you, you want to right it. And you know who else loves justice? But what does the Lord say in the law of Moses about justice and vengeance? Vengeance is mine. Yes, very good. Very good. Boys, pay attention. She doesn't even go to Torah class, huh? <laughs> the Lord loves justice. But maybe it is not ours to handle. And God says he will have compassion on his people when... What? Let's see if someone who studies this at school is learning, huh? Hmm? When their strength is gone? Yes, very good. So, maybe we let God provide the justice. Hmm? Maybe we handle these things in a different way. Not trying to be the strongest all the time. Even Messiah? You will have to see. But do not expect Messiah to arrive in Jerusalem on a tall horse carrying weapons. And he will be most pleased with those of you who are the peacemakers. This is my reason for being here. I still don't understand. What is your reason for being here? I'm telling you this because even though you are children, and the elders in your life have lived longer. Many times, adults need the faith of children. And if you hold on to this faith, really tightly, someday soon, you will understand all of what I am saying to you. But you ask an important question, Abigail. What is my reason for being here? And the answer, is for all of you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed Proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Isaiah. Isaiah.